<laughs> we don't have that f***ing drama. No, we don't. You... Because you let me be me. And you let me be me. Let me be me. It is that time of the year again, and it's a very special day because I am joined by my best friend, Cliff. We've been friends for 18 years. Oh, my papa little picture, but you're a little baby. Wait, what picture? Don't worry about it. Okay. It's also a very special 420 because New York has finally legalized. We are the 15th state uh, to do so. So we're celebrating today with a very New York thing, bacon, egg, and cheese. I thought we were doing marijuana. That too. Oh. I'm feeling like I have a contact high. I don't have a contact high because that's also illegal in New York, apparently. You can smoke weed, but you can't get it secondhand. That's secondhand weed, and that's illegal. Are you talking? <laughs> but I feel good. Oh, she's repping the Queens. Queens, New York City. That's, that's where we're from. Queens, New York. That's where we're from. Kids. We are making bacon, egg, and cheese from scratch. We're making the bagel. We're making Montreal style. Montreal style, okay. Okay. I'm into it. Oh, disclosure, the only person high in this room is clearly Lee, me. I am not high at all. Okay. Neither am I. Bitches. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna do the bagel part first. So you just combine some bread flour, uh, salt. This is, this is how cocaine is made. Mm. Yep. With a whisk. <laughs> only have this kettle. It's good, it teaches you patience or whatever. But really warm water warm. to help with the yeast. Oh, for the Activating yeast. it. This is some maple syrup, oil. It looks like an eye, actually, right? It does. If you like take like the, the zoom out, it looks like an eye. Oh, look at that, it's a nipple. Yeast and the egg. If you put the yeast in mm -hmm. and it doesn't rise properly and activate, would you call that a yeast infection? <laughs> the f out of my house. <laughs> I got love for the New York bagel. Yeah. But the Montreal bagel has got that lightness. A slight sweetness, which I usually don't like, but I appreciate in this one. And it's the right size for me because I feel like you eat one New York City bagel, mm -hmm. you're fucking done. Two, one. Whew. Okay, so it's, it's not really formed together. It's just kind of like crumbly. It's loose, loose, crumbly. We gotta give it love. Okay. Gotta give it attention and just knead it. So it's similar if you've made uh, pizza dough. Okay, there's no specific technique to this. Yeah, I'm kind of like doing a push and tug. It's kind of like, okay. ooh, I don't want you. I want you back. I know mm. I don't want you. I want you back. Mm. It's warm. Yeah. Let me see how warm it is. I feel like it's almost coming together and I know it's ready when it feels like it's stable. You know, it's got <laughs> savings. It's got two parents, <laughs> you know. <laughs> All right, we're gonna let that baby rest. I'm that gonna, looks good. I'm gonna cover it with the towel. Wow. So now it's soft. The gluten has relaxed a bit. I'm gonna cut this into three pieces and form each piece into a rope. Well, I, I, so I guess if you let it rise, it becomes more erect. <laughs> <laughs> I found a little piece of sausage from breakfast in my tea. <laughs> You're saving it for later? Mm -hmm. <laughs> little mousse bouche. A mousse bouche. <laughs> Grab a piece, loop it over, pinch, and then I roll. Mini bacon and cheese. It's like choose your variety butthole. <laughs> <laughs> maple syrup, you use honey. Get the maple facial. Mm. Get it in your pores. We're gonna boil the bagels. So how do you know when they're done? Generally about three to five minutes. Okay. You know, flip them over halfway through. The intention is to not fully cook it, right? Right. Because we're gonna put it in the oven. Just give it some... We're giving it that chew. Yeah, okay. Giving it some love in the bath, some time in the bath, but not too much time. Self-care. A little self-care time, okay. You know. Mm -hmm. 
The other thing I personally love about Montreal style bagels is the amount of sesame seeds. Oh, yeah. I thought the sesame seed bagels came in came in after. Yeah. I really did. I thought you could put them on after. I got naked spots. <laughs> Damn, what the f <laughs> This goes into the oven 425 for about 20, 25 minutes, 30 minutes. So for those of you who don't know who Femi or Fela Kuti that is, we love to listen to this song called Truth Done Die, which is a great song to just shake out your energy, shake out your emotions and just move and get moving. homage to our wonderful delis and bodegas all across New York. There's nothing like a bacon, egg, and cheese from a bodega any, anywhere in New York. Mm -hmm. I mean, like, I've gone other places, like, in, to, like, L.A., for instance. Like, with, they, they can't do it. Like, you literally say, can I get a bacon, egg, and cheese? And they're like, okay, I'm sorry, you want, you want turkey bacon? Avocado on it? Brioche? I like a little ketchup. Not the way I prefer a, 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 prefer a bacon, egg, and cheese. I like it pure. Listen, it doesn't <laughs> taste like a bacon, egg, and cheese without the ketchup. Don't go sullying the bacon, egg, and cheese combination. Bacon, egg, and cheese on a roll, or a bagel in this case. No ketchup. Okay. Yeah. 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 That's your part of Queens. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Jackson from, Heights. I'm not from that part of Queens. Jackson Heights. Ketchup on a bagel. It's you gotta, like that. You, you gotta do it fast, like, like, like they do it behind the counter. <laughs> This is gonna be a um, a uh, a Whole Foods a Whole Foods uh, <laughs> Whole Foods bacon egg and cheese. Happy 420. Happy 420. Get that 420. Get that bacon egg and cheese. Mmm. Mmm. Like bodega fresh. Not quite, but close enough. It's close enough. Damn good. I I, I know that.